Happy New Year from the Gashler family. For us, 2019 was epic. In January, we teamed up with our puppet friends for an electrifying performance at Carnegie Hall. For Valentine's Day, I appeased my mobbing fans of Screaming Girls by releasing another volume of narcissistic love songs. I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful. In March, I teamed up with the London Symphony Orchestra for an epic rendition of the hit classic, Hello, Is Jar Jar Binks There? Hello, is Jar Jar Binks there? I just love to say that I care. Why do you keep calling me? Then, in late March, our 2018 cover of Nintendo's Jump Up Superstar, after months of cricket chirps, suddenly went viral. Thanks to that video, our channel went from about 50 subscribers to 18,000 subscribers. And our total number of views is approaching 10 million. So those gymnastics and parkour lessons actually paid off. Thanks to your support, we're now one step closer to the modern American dream, quitting one's day job and becoming YouTubers. Speaking of gymnastics, Aspen and Araya both competed in a number of meets, and Aspen took first place. Now I've still got a lot of fight left in me. Aspen also competed with me in the Utah's Biggest Liar Storytelling Contest. She took first place and Audience Choice Award for the Youth Division. I took first place and Audience Choice Award for the Adult Division. I look down as the checkout stand passed beneath us. Then I look forward as I crashed through the front windows, <laughs> flew over the parking lot, and landed in a dumpster. <laughs> Araya, a former champion, was invited back as a featured teller. Percy, meanwhile, has become quite the fighter. My dad did three flips in the air and tried to quiet taught me. I dodged him with a double back handspring. Next he pulled out a bazooka and tried to blast me. But I do a spell for force field. In April, I debuted my young adult urban fantasy novel, Gideon vs. the Gods of Cool as both a book and an audiobook, recorded by yours truly. He does not behave normally. We must fight them. He must be stopped. It's rated at five stars on both Amazon and Audible. Check it out. In anticipation of a sixth member of our family, Teresa and I spent a week in Florida in order to live a little before being shackled to the demands of a newborn baby. In May, we were on a road trip when I felt a sudden need to spontaneously burst into a medley of the music from every single Star Wars episode. Eventually, my family caught the vision too. This little kitty, Magical Mrs. Mistopheles, aka Misty, literally fell into our lives. Some construction workers were renovating a ceiling in a friend's office when she fell through the drywall and hence needed a home. To keep her company, we adopted this little guy, T.S. Eliot, from a lady trying to find homes for kittens in a Walmart parking lot. Never pay money for cats. Did you know they make cameos in many of our videos? In July, the kids and I competed in the Freedom Run. Then, for no reason whatsoever, we turned our house into the Forest Temple. Then Percy went on an epic quest, teaming up with Navi the Fairy and getting assistance from a mysterious old man beneath a bridge. He faced horrible monsters, collected magical items. And braved terrifying dungeons in order to rescue the Princess Zelda. Around that time, I shared my deep pontifications on the legendary Kingdom of the Dwarves. When I woke up, I knew I'd miss that dreamy place of never was. And then, baby Eowyn came.
what could I do? In a circle, circle of life. A few weeks later, also for no reason whatsoever, I dusted off my Hogwarts robes and traveled to a magical land of green hills, where a good friend and I lamented the fact that Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw never win the House Cup. Cause we had a rough year, our goblet hopes marred, the blast and its scroots got our fingers all charred. In August, we had fun at the Utah Renaissance Fair. In September, the entire family performed at the famous Timpanogos Storytelling Festival. After all that, we needed some time out, so we took it easy in beautiful Park City. Araya has become quite the swimmer, braving the lap pool and getting ready to join a team. October was a rough month. First, Teresa had another werewolf attack. Are you alright? No way! Then she and three of the children caught the dreaded zombie virus. Not to mention the dancing virus. In November, we put on the first full-scale production of our musical, Valhalla, a Nordic rock opera, starring our family. I dare say it was pretty awesome. Speaking of Norse awesomeness, in December, we were on our way to the Amway convention when we picked up some Viking hitchhikers, and then we kind of all became Vikings. Call me Father Odin, hear us mighty Thor, merciful fray, a tear god of war, guide us in the battle you made us for. Last, but certainly not least, Teresa and I recently celebrated our 13th year of marriage. 13 reasons why my wife could beat up your wife. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, she is gorgeous, she is cool, if I don't keep her I'm a fool. It's been a most excellent 13 years, and hopefully there will be many more. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and we'll see you next year. Here